What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for indie game unboxing? Hey, nerdlings, it's your girl, JLove81, and you're watching one of the most positive channels, Do You Nerd? Welcome nerdlings, I am Tom and this is the lovely Lady Lacey and this is Do You Nerd, a channel where we just talk about all the things that we love to nerd out about. It could be comic books, it could be movies, it could be toys, plushies, Ren fairs, conventions, events, it could also be... Video games! Yeah, maybe once or twice we talk about them. <laughs> this is Pigeon Dev Games Collection by Premium Edition. We added this to our collection in a very special way, didn't we? We did. We saw this at Southeast Game Exchange and we were silly because we forgot to pick it up. Yeah. We talked to the guy for quite a while about it and then something came up and we forgot to buy it. Con brain, it, yeah. it happens. <laughs> but we knew the next time we saw him at a convention, we were going to buy it. Well, we were at MGC recently and we were talking to Jen about that exact same conundrum. And then while we were in the middle of walking around on the floor, she just shows up and goes, here you go. <laughs> so we still have a bought this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jen. Yes. Guys, please check out JLove81 if you have not already. Obviously, she's a ridiculous sweetheart. She is. Assistant. She's my plushy sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you saw some of this before, uh, I believe, in an unboxing video. And did he have everything set mm -hmm. out at yeah. Siege? And that was the main thing that caught your the eye. The steelbook in there was what really caught my eye. Right. And the games. I'm very curious about the games. Now, everything inside does look cool. But these games, these awesome P games, having that, like, Game Boy look to them. Mm -hmm. And they look like they're going to be fun platformers. I'm also very interested in this Bucket Night game. Yeah. Explosive Jake. We'll see. I don't know what to expect from that one. <laughs> Now, we were super excited to open this. Yes. I know that she has been chomping at the bit. Now, the re one of the reasons we like these games is because these are great games if you're like waiting on someone to get ready or if you're traveling. Yeah. Um, because they're just good pick up, play, put down games. They're not games you have to remember the controls for or remember what's going on in the story. Oh, stuff yeah. Like that. You get like some 200 hour long RPG and you're like, what, what am I doing in this town? I don't even know anymore. First and foremost, you have a cardboard sleeve for the game. <laughs> that is great. Artwork on uh -huh. both sides. Love the artwork. And then something else that's really cool is you have this NES uh, game sleeve on here for the game on the inside. And then there's the game itself. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen next. Well, there's a card in the game. That's Premium <laughs> Edition Challenge. So that's something else that we liked about this whole set is they give you a bunch of different challenges so you can earn different patches. And I think that's really cool, like pride patches. Because younglings, youngling nerdlings, way back in the day, the old Atari system, 2600, you used to be able to get special patches for uh, high scores. That's the ultimate yep. badge of honor yep. right there. There's a booklet inside. Oh, very nice. Love when people like Premium Edition, Limited Run, yeah. any of these companies, Special Reserve, when they put out games, they go that extra mile and they give us back the manuals and the booklets that we always loved. And this is a, a nice color gorgeous. manual. Wow. There's some maps in there. I love that. That is really cool. Nice button layouts for the controller. Showing what your uh, in game pieces are, whether they're collectibles or enemies, stuff like that. Then on the inside, you have the lovely game itself. And this is what he was waiting for my game. <laughs> she claims it. My game. 
cannot just you say, lick it. Excuse me. You keep it. You lick it. You keep. By the rules of the street, I own thee. What would you have me do? And then the Pazis de Resistance. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Does come in a protective How sleeve. Nicely packaged yeah. was this. So the cool thing about this is it looks like a retro TV. And what's even better, when you flip the re the uh, steel book over, it's the back of the retro TV, which is so cool. I mean, it's got even like the warning for high voltage, the little buttons, the vents, everything. And then you open it up and it's the inside of the TV. That's what really drew me this whole set was I fell in love with the steel book. By the way, did you mention that I it's didn't, a nice actually. embossed it is, cover yeah. on the TV with everyone jumping out there? This it has is, that like nice metallic sheen to it. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh, and speaking of the TV, the old knob. Hey, <laughs> hands up if when you were a kid, you were the remote control. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to watch Channel 5 now. Go, go change it. Okay. So, or you were in my household and the knob was missing, so you had to get a pliers to hey, turn that yeah. knob. <laughs> I, I think I had one of those too, actually. <laughs> what was up with the knobs always breaking? I don't know. Sometimes I think you know the parents would take the knob so that you couldn't watch TV while you were gone, but that's when you figured out that the pliers worked. I think we're off topic. Here. I think we are. Stay on target. There, you guys have it. Just a quick unboxing to show you all the cool stuff in here. We are suckers for big box stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when you have these in here, I mean, this is great too, because as you can see, the size isn't too much larger than the actual case itself. Yeah. So it's really easy to get it on the same shelf, but having all these extra bits in there, I mean, I love the manual in full color, that extra touch. The cards are always great. Having the challenges on there so you can keep track. <laughs> the sleeve, how much fun is this sleeve? Yeah. And even the protective sleeve. This could work well too, I believe, if you wanted to yeah. put it over the steel book to keep it from scratching or anything. And uh, speaking of the thing that won you over yes, so much. Yes, this amazing steel book with all of the very cool details all over it. Well, just so you know, nerdlings, I am going to leave a link in the description down below. That'll take you over to Pigeon Dev Games, mm -hmm. uh, what well, premium edition. That way, you got everything you need, and even to J Love eighty one. Yes. Once more, thank you so much for such an awesome gift. We we don't deserve sweethearts like you. We really <laughs> don't. <laughs> leave some comments down below if you've checked out any of these games. If you've taken down any of the challenges yourself, and if you have your own patches. And give the video a like, hit the notification bell, subscribe, see what we're picking up next. Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh website. And nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it for beat the final level of any game. Oh. All right, we gotta go. Yep, we got Best games to beat. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> nope. Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Oh. <laughs> oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. Ha 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 ha. Oh. <laughs> That lady gives you care, what does she do in there? This lady gives you care, what does she do in there? Is this in the blooper section? <laughs> Future Tom! <laughs> and take it from her. It... I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs>